Hey folks, I'm Troy and you're watching TroyTube. In the last video I talked about and showed you how to apply vinyl without air bubbles and we did that dry. We applied it to a flat surface and also to a stemless wine glass and I showed you how to do that. So this time we're going to use the wet method so we'll be right back. One of the uh, things I mentioned in that last video was applying vinyl using the wet method. And, um, you know, in that video, we applied it dry. I showed you you can do it without air bubbles, no problem at all, especially on smaller decals like that. Now, larger projects like maybe a retail store window, maybe you're doing large lettering on a vehicle or something like that, you, you might want to consider using the wet method. Now, I've still never used it. I use the dry application on retail store windows and cars. I've done some fairly large projects with vinyl, uh, very large cuts, and applied all of it dry without the wet method. But everyone has you know, their own techniques that work for them the best. So in this video, we're going to talk about applying with the wet method. All right, we have another one of these acrylic license plate cut cutouts that I'm going to work with. Had a couple of these laying around. So again, I've peeled the paper off the front. The paper's still on the back side of it. And a few things you're going to want for this, of course, is your application fluid. Uh, like I said, this is uh, water with a few drops of baby uh, shampoo in it. You can get commercial application fluid if you'd like, but typically for something like this, that'll work fine. Uh, you want to use baby shampoo. It's probably the mildest uh, soap that you can get and um, you know it doesn't have any degreasers or anything like that and just a few drops in a bottle of this size works just fine and of course you need your surface your decal a squeegee and paper transfer tape typically is best for the wet application method because the paper does soak up some of the uh, water and it makes it easier to remove the paper when it's time and of course you'll want a paper towel so again, we'll apply our decal to the transfer paper and uh, do it upside down, just like I normally do. And you can see there, uh, burnish it just a little bit, not much, just a couple light swipes. And again, you should see your vinyl should peel off that easy with uh, good transfer tape and when it's cut properly uh, to the proper depth. So now uh, we'll apply the uh, uh, application fluid now, if you're going to do this a lot, you might want to pick up some of these little uh, squirt bottles. You can get these at Dollar Tree usually for, you know, about 25 for two or three of them in a pack or something like that. Uh, that's just alcohol, but I just wanted to show you the little bottle because they're kind of handy to hand have around instead of having a big bottle like this. So we just lightly mist it. Uh, don't put too much on. And our vinyl decal, and we can kind of move it around a little bit and you can see with that water under there it, it just provides like a, a layer uh, that it allows, allows it to kind of float on and glide on and once you have it into place then you can squeegee it and squeegee the water out of it and that will bring the air bubbles with it and we'll do a little mop up here of the excess around it now I'm going to go ahead and remove the transfer tape. Uh, typically you would leave the transfer tape on for a while, give this water time to dry and everything. There's probably a little bit of water underneath of the vinyl, you know, just microscopic amounts that won't squeegee out. But um, you normally you'd, you'd leave this on and let it dry for a little bit before you remove it. But in this case, I'm going to, for the purposes of the video, I'm going to go ahead and remove this. Again, the same thing. You peel it back against itself at 180 degrees so that you don't pull the vinyl away from the surface. Surface. And again, a little bit of a mop up operation here. And again, application, uh, this time wet with no air bubbles in it. And you try to get that glare into there. You can see the reflection of my head in that. But um, there's the wet application method. And I can't stress enough, I would normally let that dry for, for probably a few hours, if not maybe a day or something, before I remove that transfer tape in most cases. But uh, for the purpose of the video, video and demonstration, I think it worked fine. So there you have a decal applied with the wet method. And, uh, you know, that was real easy to do. Everybody has their own techniques that they like and prefer that works for them. I say do what works for you the best, but I've just never really had to use it. I did use it on some window tent one time. Uh, you know, large sheets, very difficult to handle by yourself, and it makes life a lot easier with that. But as far as your know, decals, 
uh, you know, applying vinyl, I, I do it dry, but a lot of people might want to try the wet method and see if it uh, helps you out. You can get that paper transfer tape on our website at bulkvinyl.com. So give it a shot if you want to try it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, post them down below the video. Hey folks, I just wanted to take a minute to thank everyone for the love, kindness, and support that you've provided to Tammy and I over the past several years. It's been almost 10 years, believe it or not, been eight and a half years since we bought our first Cricut. So we're almost a decade into new careers for both of us. So when you buy great products like Orcal 651, Thermoflex, Heat Transfer Vinyl, DPI Sub, Premium Sublimation Ink, Blanks, any of those things that you buy from our site help support us and our employees and our employees' families. Don't forget about our subscription and membership, which gives you uh, access to our e-learning courses and also significant discounts on product purchases as well. So if you like our videos and everything we do, click the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And when you do, click the bell next to it so that you'll get notified when I publish new videos. And then in the video description, there's also links to all of our Facebook groups, our Facebook pages. So joining those groups, liking our pages, leaving us reviews helps us out immensely and we thoroughly enjoy every minute of this journey along uh, this path with you to bring uh, love, kindness, and hope to the world using your crafting hobby or small business, whether it's been in person, on the phone, or through social media.